What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel Emotable. Welcome to a Gothic 3, the third and final playthrough, aside from the hardcore run that is. The playthrough of Balear, also known as the playthrough of the Hashishin. So uh, let's go into the game and uh, I will explain the character build once I've liberated our deer. So uh, without further ado. Let's go. Now I do have my uh, fingers crossed when it comes to uh, clean commentary. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, there's only one way to find it out, which is just by, you know, playing, technically speaking. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the you know, cutscene of the game, and uh, then we will be liberating our deer, which sadly we cannot avoid, unless running away, that is, but uh, yeah, enjoy the intro, guys. Nah, fuck it, I'll just skip it. Alright, so let me save here. Right, so that's one down. Why so many orcs, eh? I understand that I'm the main character, but come on. Stop buttering me, please. Well, that was the first quick death. <laughs> I 
And do not forget that the game is obviously on hard with alternative IE, which makes the game a bit more harder, as well as when it comes to learning certain capabilities. Now, at first I wanted to turn it off, but uh, I want to test something, and uh, best to test it with the playthrough Belia, since the playthrough Belia will be, you know, the quickest when it comes to uh, height, when it comes to ancient knowledge. Now I must find a vantage point, I think, where I can either, you know, shoot some arrows, because uh, all of these orcs, you know, are very relatively tough, even though that this blade, this orc slayer blade, has orc slayer damage, which means more extra damage, or full damage towards orcs and the like, you know, it's still tough. Um, but we get there eventually, you know. Always those sneaky attacks. Stop right there, moron. The blocking in this game, you know, works like shit, but uh, that's my personal opinion. How many of you cunts do I have to fend off because the other NPCs are quite busy? How are those miss? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, this is a mean tactic, but uh, you know, whatever works. So, that's it for you. Prefer to have to kill myself, but Easy fellas, eh? Alright, so that was that. Yes, the in-game sound is soft. But uh, that is all done on purpose due to the commentary, just to make doubly sure that the commentary. Done, the orcs would have let us live. Now Zardus will send even more of them after us. You need to go to Redduck. We'll talk later, sir. Let me first loot this area. Alright, so let me, you know, loot the loot and uh, clear the houses and then I will explain my character build. And uh, then we will go into the next episode where we're gonna go to Reddick and talk with all the NPCs over here. Now this will take a bit of time, you know, since there are quite a few corpses, chests and whatnot to have slash find in this area, but uh, we'll get it done ASAP, that's for sure.
Here it says something about alchemy. We're nearly done, and then uh, I will explain the character build, although it should be quite obvious, except for certain capabilities, you know. The obvious part should be the magical capabilities, you know, Balear magic, aka a Balear statuettes only. But um, I will explain it nevertheless, you know, once I've got every bit of loot around here, whether for healing purposes, loot, gold purposes, or any other kind of purpose, a purpose is a purpose. In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the eternal wanderer led the way. create anything at the moment. Right, so I, th I think that was it. Alright, so let's go into the character build. <clears throat> now, depending on the build that you seek, you know, um, each of my playthroughs will have a, diff a different kind of, you know, character build up. When it comes to the playthrough Balear, he will learn the mastery of one handed sword fighting and the mastery of fighting with two blades, which can be taught by the Ashishin. Um, I will also, if possible, get Paladin, but I doubt it. Um, so I'm not gonna focus on it entirely, but it's optional. Regeneration is one of the things that I will get through Zubin, I believe, I'm not quite sure. Um, but when it comes to the fighting skills, the only thing that I actually need are one-handed fighting, Dual Blades and Orc Slayer. Pa uh, regeneration is most definitely optional. Paladin is for, as far as I know, for Khan slash um, King Robar only. I'm not entirely sure, especially King Robar. That one is 100%, you know, fact. I'm not quite sure about Khan, but... Uh, since this guy is going to be a Hashishin, of course, I will work with the Orcs and thus against the Rebels. And when it comes to the desert, I will, you know, instead of helping the Nomads, like in my Adenos or Enos playthrough, I kill the Nomads due to the fact that this guy is going to be an Hashishin. But again, fighting's capabilities, one-handed sword fighting, mastery, dual blade fighting, and Orc Slayer, the rest, you know, two-handed crossbow shield are really insignificant towards this path. If you do want to have two-handed weapons, then you... or the crossbow for that matter. Um, or was the crossbow with the paladin? 
two-handed sword is a servant of animals, which is my first playthrough. Um, fighting with the shield is with um, the servant of animals, which is the second playthrough. Crossbow is from uh, the human orc mercenary playthrough, also known as the playthrough of animals, at least as far as I can recall. Um, but uh, you know, I, I'm getting ahead of if you want to see the other builds make sure to check my youtube channel check out their playlists whether it's Adonis aka the human orc mercenaries or the rebels their full build will of course be shown slash noted once the game is beated within the playlist now when it comes to this character in particular fighting skills one handed mastery and dual wielding and orc slayer Regeneration is optional and Paladin is optional, the rest is irrelevant when it comes to fighting capabilities. Hunting capabilities is for this guy. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether I did or did not train it with either you know, my other two playthroughs when it comes to the bow, so I'm not entirely sure about that one yet. It could be that I will train it, but it's not my priority if you will. Of course, taking skins hides of and teeth claws and horns etc is something that I will always learn due to you know gold um, when it comes to the magical capability staff combat will be one of the things you will learn magical stays not entirely sure yet but possible improve ropes obviously learn quickly obviously the druid is for Adonis the fire mage is for Enos, the water mage is again for Adonis. With this guy we're gonna go dark mage and mana regeneration is also very important despite what path I take because of the fact that in the end whether I play the human orc mercenary or the fire mage slash you know yeah, rebels or the you know Hussian playthrough either one of them will end up with a mage build so mana regeneration is very important to all three um, smithing capabilities i will learn not that forging pure magic or weapons is really that relative but uh, i will still learn it if i can but again it's optional you know when it comes to forge pure magic or weapons the rest i will get for certainty thieving capabilities i will get everything Alchemy capabilities, I will get pretty much everything. I'm not quite sure which I do or do not want. Like transformation potions, don't really need it, but I will still learn it, you know. Um, just to make sure that all the skills have been learned, divided by the three playthroughs that I have uploaded to my YouTube channel. Well, two already, and this one will be the third. Other skills will obviously again everything will be maxed when it comes to you know ac um, acrobatics fast wolf uh, or wolf endurance or something like that cold resistance poison resistance heat resistance and disease resistance are nine out of ten very important to the character the only reason why some characters um, I th my servant of Venus for one is one of them you know didn't learn certain capabilities like resistance to disease or resistance to poison was due to the fact that he can heal himself by just using magic so then it's irrelevant this guy cannot however so you know I will learn everything maxed out but the most importantly the major difference between each playthrough Enos Adonis and belly art. So in this particular playthrough I will get transfer disease, poison, amnesia, lightning bolt, terror, fog, bloodlust, summon skeleton, switch from night to day, and vice versa, you know. Soul travel, summon demon, summoning lightning, and the army of darkness, which is the magical tree that uh, my character will get of course you can only get these by either the dark mages of the Hashishin or by uh, praying towards a statuette of Beliar. Now unlike the other two playthroughs this guy 
will go firmly, especially early game, firmly into learn quickly. Well, in ancient knowledge, do to learn quickly, so that I can, you know, I want to check if in this particular playthrough with alternative, i.e., with my playthrough of Enos, I had, you know, learned learned quickly a bit too late, and it was very hard to be able to get all the, you know skill set that my required character at that time the play for Venus was needed so I had to cheat in order to get remaining ones not because of the you know lack in let's say XP the lack in mobs etc that was not it but due to the fact of alternative IE which makes certain capabilities cheaper when it comes to learning but others as well as more expensive you know fire mage for example was normally about five learning points but with alternative ie it's 30 it's going to be probably be around the same with dark mage and 30 learning points is equal to three levels for one skill you know so i'm going to use this momentum this uh, playthrough in particular to see if i would focus everything on learn quickly aka ancient knowledge not only will my character then be allowed to you know use magical capabilities early on compared to the other two playthroughs but it will also allow me to test whether with alternative IE I will be able to you know get max out stats without too much trouble um, when it comes to alternative IE because if it doesn't then I cannot do a hardcore run when it comes to um, with alternative IE because in my hardcore run I will learn everything everything whether it's you know the, the magical capability of Enos, Baliar and Adonis combined all these trees will be filled and thus it requires a way lot more learning points than this guy so with this guy I'm gonna get agent knowledge ASAP in order to get learn quickly as soon as pop possible which I can learn in Reddick and uh, once I've got that one and then I might be able to reconsider in you know learning other capabilities like handling one-handed sword and dual wielding this do does mean that in this particular city like Cape Don, Reddick, um, Trellis etc there are arenas in some of these you know cities unlike the other playthroughs where I instantly did them this guy will certainly do not do that. This guy will go purely to the cities to do everything that they can do without the arena because of the fact that this guy will need dual wield in order, well, dual wield one handed swords in order to be able to fight in the arena to make each arena a bit different. Because the servant of Adenos uses two handed weapons. The servant of Enos uses one-handed weapons and the shield, and this guy will use one-handed weapons and do a wield, you know, aka wielding to one-handed swords. So yeah, let's go uh, to the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see a particular different path, whether it's, uh, let's say, um, the human orc mercenary, check out my Adenos playthrough. If you want to see the playthrough of the Rebels, then you have to go to my playthrough of Enos. The first playthrough is also with commentary, the second is without, and this one is obviously with. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to talk with the vil vid bleh, bleh, v village elder here and uh, go to Reddick with Gorn and uh, yeah, start the area questing there. Learn ancient knowledge as quickly as possible, as high as possible, but also try to improve my combat capabilities capabilities a bit, because uh, you know, despite the fact that each of my characters are mage-ish, they will have tremendous mana issues unless they have the mana regeneration capability. So I'm gonna, you know try to figure out a balanced way to get things done but uh, dual wield swords I will be able to get in the desert which will be quite 
far away from now. Um, about 15 episodes away, something like that. Not quite sure. Remains to be seen. You know, I can't predict uh, how many videos or how many episodes a certain area will take. You know, it could be that Radic will only take one episode, but it also could mean that it will take two or three or four episodes, depending on how long and how fast I am capable of completing quests, not dying as much, etc. You know. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, again, subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe and you're not afraid of getting spammed in a way, um, then don't forget to hit notification bell. I currently upload about three videos a day. I want to upload more, but um, for the time being, I'm going to stick to three. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go to Redic. As well as talk with the village elder here. Go to Redic and uh, make the connections again before actually joining a particular side. But his side has already been determined, which is going to be in this case the Hashishin, and therefore he must complete all Hashishin quests, unlike the other two playthroughs. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button if you want to see a hardcore run, which will be a, uh, you know, one character, three gods, all their power in one. Um, so where, whether it will be with or without alternative, i.e. I will, you know, learn after this playthrough pretty much, because um, I, I don't think there will be enough learning points with alternative, i.e. in order to be able to max out everything, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to test that out. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.